a very welcome to you we are here with 27th of april's godly blessing now there's a power in the power of silence power in the power of silence and with this power of silence we can actually attain solutions for anything and everything in our life whether it's financial mental emotional relationship whether it's physical or even if it's something to do with god also and spirituality talks about connection with god so the silence over here is what we are talking about is connection with god first i need to reduce the number of unwanted waste thoughts in my mind so that i can have clarity in my mind and connect to the creator and there are many benefits out of it so let's explore those benefits in god's own words in this vardhan of blessing he says may you experiment with the power of silence silence is not just something which we do when we keep quiet silence is mental silence using the instrument of pure thoughts and become an embodiment of success using the instrument of pure thoughts not to be in silence we need to use the instrument of pure thoughts and become an embodiment of success the special instrument to use for the power of silence is pure thoughts imagine if you're thinking something bad about someone could be your boss could be your parents could be your friends could be your spouse can you make your mind quiet no try it out think something bad about somebody right now and imagine that i want to keep in silence or why not whenever you have a bad day because of somebody or some situation how many thoughts do you create that time are you ready in silence no and same thing can happen when somebody praises you your mind might be questioning it mind might be getting into wow mode and you are still not in silence your thoughts are still running so silence over here when god talks about silence it means to have pure thoughts to have pure thoughts means nothing can affect me even if somebody tries to take revenge from me i still have pure thoughts towards that person why because i want to slow down the thoughts in my mind for my own peace of mind not for somebody else my thoughts are more powerful than the physical elements around me and even any other being around me then god says experiment with this on yourself first so you can see whatever you want to become an embodiment success so with this instrument of your thoughts you can see whatever you want to become an embodiment of success so if you want to see some work getting done your thoughts if you want to see some success to be attained in certain activity your thoughts if you want relationship to be good your thoughts if you want financial benefits pure thoughts if you want physical good health pure thoughts and that is the foundation of everything so the more the mind is silent the more energetic you are the more physically also energetic you are not just mentally the more you are sharper in your relationships in your dealings whether it's business or whether it's boss job so that's why you will attain success experiment with this on yourself first first do it on yourself experiment with it on any illness of your body and see how with the power of silence any karmic bondage will change into a form of a sweet relationship so if your body is giving you trouble now when why did i say your body because you are a soul and your body is different that's why we say my body and we don't say i the body we don't say i the brain brain is separate so the entity who owns the brain is also the soul along with the body so here when we talk about having a sweet relationship it's about having a sweet relationship even with the body you are separate as an entity consciousness and your body is different so if you talk ill to your body let's say if you say uff i'm sick and tired of this disease i'm sick and tired of this headache i'm sick and tired of this hand i'm sick and tired of this leg i'm sick and tired of this stomach then it's not a pure thought it's going to increase so i'm happy with my stomach i'm happy with my hand i'm happy with my eyes i'm happy with my head i'm happy with my neck i'm happy with my back i'm happy with my legs i'm happy with my whole body all the organs thank you so much how are these thoughts aren't they pure enough so then god says you'll make your relationship better with them and you'll make them feel powerful your body also feels powerful because that's the vibration which you're sending to it by using the power of silence any strong bondage or suffering of karma will be experienced to be like a line of water imagine a line of water and imagine a line on stone which is easier to rub off water right it just goes like this and 
water comes back and takes its own original form. So it's not going to last long. That's what God wants to say. So experiment with the power of silence on your body, your mind and habits and become an embodiment of success. So habits means, okay, let's say I want to overcome anger. Whenever somebody doesn't listen to me, whenever somebody is doing their own things and they're irritating, so whenever I'm not able to attain certain things because of somebody being a hindrance, I can feel angry. But then when I say nothing is mine, I'm a soul, I don't belong to this world, nothing is mine, immediately there's a full stop to your thoughts. Anger is going. Because body consciousness can make you feel I me myself and my way the highway. And when people don't go your way, you can get angry. So not my way, it's God's way. Not why, but how high. How high should I think? How pure should I think? And that's the question which we can ask ourselves and make our mind more powerful, more virtuous and we can actually deal with health problems, we can deal with financial problems, we can deal with relationship problems, we can deal with mental problems, emotional problems and even we can deal with a breakup with God. Yes, we all mostly who have not understood this knowledge, who have not understood themselves, I have already had a breakup with God. It's time to make up with God now. How do we do that is what we're going to learn in Brahma Kumaris and you're most welcome to attend a session, half an hour, one hour session at a center nearby you. Om Shanti Undis.